Seriously? Hey, hey guys, and welcome to another range review with myself, Six Plus Stevo. If you haven't already guessed from the thumbnail or the picture to my side, uh, we are looking at Puppets War on this one. Uh, quite a well-known third-party provider of orc bits and, well, all factions, really. Um, but we're not going to delve into all of it. We're just going to focus on the orcs. Um, but, yeah, they are one of the better-known providers. So let's take a look. Let's get straight into it. Uh, so, um, puppetswar.eu is the website. There will be a link in the description below if you want to go and check these guys out for yourself. Um, but let's take a look now. What I will just quickly do, we can change from uh, pounds, euros, New Zealand dollars? I don't know what that is. Uh, or uh, presumably American dollars there. Uh, we will change to pounds, because uh, that's what I'm familiar with. So I'll kind of get a good idea if, that's, uh, if these are good prices or not. Uh, we shall go down to this section in models and bits. We'll look into the sci-fi section and we shall select orcs. And here we go. Um, there are uh, two pages, 48 things per page. So, so. Oh, so we have, it, so by that count, we can figure out there are 50, 50 different orc-related things to buy on this site. Um, I have bought from Puppets War in the past, and uh, my experiences with them have been good. I haven't bought a huge amount of stuff from them, um, but the things I have bought, I've, I've liked. And uh, yeah, let's just take a look at, well, everything they've got to offer. Starting at the top here, um, one of their newest um, Orc releases is this unit, the Orcs Unit Configurator. There you go, Configurator. Strange name. Um, here we go. Uh, so let's see if we can, there we go, bring that up a bit bigger. Um, <clears throat> well, these boys look nice, don't they? Um, incredibly savage, very brutal looking, uh, nicely armoured up. They, these have a style all of their own. Uh, if you've watched any of my previous um, entries in this playlist, uh, so far I've covered GW themselves, obviously, Forge World, and then we started delving into the third party companies recently. We did Cromlech, we did Gear Guts, and the most recent one we did for fun miniatures. And all of them have their own sort of take on the orcs. And uh, they all sort of uh, have their own sort of quirks and different design elements behind them. And Puppets War is no different. These heads are really nice. Very savage. These look a lot to me, um, a lot more like GW's Uruks lines for Age of Sigma. Uh, they have that sort of... Um, I don't know, a bit more feral look to the face. Uh, very aggressive looking faces. Really, really toothy. Um, nice, I like them. They are cool. Let's uh, scroll through some of the other pictures. So this is one of the uh, dudes with... Uh, he's got uh, dual wielding sluggers here. And lovely, uh, I like the blade attachment there so he can sort of yeah get it down on the... Yeah, very nice. Um, look at like the the muscularity on this guy. I mean, he is hench. He's roided up to the max, isn't he? Um, but yeah, I like the uh, I like the armor. They've got a they got a bit of a Gears of War vibe off these guys. I don't know what it is, but they uh, what's the, what's the um, what are they called? Oh, it's been a long time since I played Gears of War. I can't remember what the uh, the, the aliens the the villains are called in it. The, the race. Um, I'm sure someone in the comments is already typing it in as I speak. Uh, well, not as I speak, because this isn't live, is it? But as they're watching this, I'm sure there's already an answer. Uh, but yeah, it's got, it, I don't know, the, the, the body and stuff, it's got that kind of vibe to me. Um, but I, I like, I like, I like these. These these are cool. Presumably, these are to be used as knobs. Let's have a look at the description. Uh, so, it is uh, £26.80. 
Um, and uh, oh yeah, it looks so. That's a, a ten percent saving from the original components price. Uh, I get you. So if you're buying this set, you are saving money rather than just buying the bits individually. But it's nice to have that option if you just think, well, I just like the heads or I just like the arms, then you've got that option. Um, so presumably these are knobs. Uh, it says it contains five models of orcs, bases not included. Um, Models designed to fit 32mm tabletop wargame scale as orcs, human infantry. Bodies have slots for 3 times one millimeter magnets. That's useful. That's very... That's, that's good thinking. Uh, a unit composition and the number of parts depending on selected components. Supplied, unassembled and unpainted. Uh, up to 35mm height. I just happened to have a tape measure lying around. 35 mil, so that is about an inch and a half high. I have a, a knob on standby here. Yeah, it's bang on. They are they are the same height as the knob, um, but they look a lot sort of girthier, a lot thicker, a lot more, no, I'd say, roided out. The, the, the muscles are big time on them. So, yeah, these are quite cool alternative uh, knobs. I mean, oh... Look at him. Jeez, that's an awesome looking power claw. Uh, samurai inspired helmet. I like that. Mmm. Good stuff. Yeah, I see a lot of samurai inspired sort of armor bits. The way that the, um, I don't know what it's called, that type of armor. Um, but the way they're sort of, yeah. Yeah, it, you, you know what I mean. It looks like samurai armor. Very cool. Um, and I love these these blades. This is very Urukai blade, isn't it? With the uh, the sort of tooth bit sticking at the front. I love that. Like a cleaver sort of thing. It's really good for sort of hacking and pulling. And it just looks so. I mean, if you saw someone coming at you with something like that, you would be terrified. You know, that looks like it's going to do some horrendous damage. It doesn't look graceful at all. It's just literally a, a crude clubbing weapon. Clubbing, ripping, tearing, all that good stuff. <laughs> uh, well, there, there, there you go. Um, that I mean, that is definitely samurai. Uh, it's right. For me personally, it's just for me personally, a little too samurai for me. Um, I'm not a big fan personally of when real world stuff is mixed in with it too much. I like to take inspiration from it and take bits. And you can draw inspiration for stuff. I don't really like it so much when you just literally, well, here's an orc in samurai armor. Some people love that stuff. And if they do, that's that's cool. It's not for me personally. It looks really cool. It is awesome looking. Um, I would probably lessen that a bit. I would, you know, lose some elements of that. So it wasn't just obviously uh, an orc in a sort of mechanized samurai suit. But it, I mean, there's no, there's no denying it looks cool. It does look very cool. Um, but yeah, so, um, and it looks like we've got some, uh, prices, so we've got options here, we? that's just the amount to put in the basket. Um, now look, and you can select your components. Two sets or more, 15%, five sets, right, I get you, I get. So you, right, so you sort of build your unit up, you choose your weapons, you choose, oh, see, look, I love it. I get ya. Ah, so look at this. How cool is this? You design them yourself. You get a choice. So you've got your your bodies, your your, your hands, and your heads, and then you can you can um, change. So you can switch switch the heads out. You know the bare heads or the samurai. So let's let's make a unit here. So we'll have those heads. What we're going to have in the left hand. We've got uh, choppers, katanas, combat tips, or orc pistols. We'll stick with the pistols. Uh, in the other hands, let's go for the combat tips. I like the look of that. And then we've got different options here. So we can add pads. We can stick them in. Let's get them padded up. We'll get them nice and armored up, both sides. Extras. Ah, oh, basic gear things. Little. 
Yeah, let's give him some kit. Backpacks. Wings. Angel wing packs. Huh. Yeah, Bushy banners. We'll have none of them. I don't think any of them really suit what we're going for. And then, uh, and you can select your magnets to put in there. Very cool. Uh, and you can see the price has gone up to match. So that is now £40.15 for five. So it's suddenly become quite expensive. Um, blimey, that jumped up a lot, didn't it? Just from adding some shoulder pads and some weapon. So, hmm. Would probably advise against adding too much. Um, but I'd say the basic price, though, the the uh, 25 odd quid for a unit of five of them um, it is nice. Looks like the bodies all come in like one, just one big piece. Then you just add the hat, the uh, hands and heads. But yeah, I, I do. I do like them. I've got to say, that's cool. Right. Let's back out of this. Um, but a cool way to make a unit where you see, that's, I like that. Um, and then we've got the bits where you can buy the bodies separately um, and the shoulder pads separately. Shoulder pads are quite expensive. Like it's a pound a shoulder pad. So we've got we, it's sort of mixed on the pricing here. Some some of the uh, yes yeah, so for this squad twenty twenty three pound fifty five p. Um, I would argue is a very competitively priced. Um, it, I mean that's a, a similar price point to the GW knobs I think, um, but probably of a higher quality. Um, I would argue. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I love the pistols. The pistols are really cool. I'd like to get some of these bits. Again, quite pricey. You're paying well over a pound for a tiny little hand in a pistol. It's quite a lot of money, but you know, when you see a bit you really, really like and you want to add it in there, you, let's be honest, we're, we're going to snap them up, aren't we? Um, I do like these orc blades. I really do like them. They're very cool. I think these would look great in like a goth horde or whatever to... Uh, yeah, katanas. Yeah, uh, they're cool. Not my cup of tea, but they are cool. Nicely designed. And uh, there's the the samurai heads, which some of these I really do like. Actually, really do like some of this. This guy is particularly. He's he's pretty awesome looking. Yeah, they are nice, aren't they? Look at them. I absolutely love it. I like this guy as well. He's got quite a cool face. Yeah. Interesting stuff, man. Um, so yes, that's, that's not badly priced. £4.44 for five pretty damn cool orc knob heads. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Uh, here's the, the, the standard orc heads here. Standard orc heads. Hmm. Pretty nice, aren't they? You, you got a bit of detail on them. That, um, I mean, obviously these are renders, so we're not actually seeing the actual resin miniature. But I can attest to. I mean, I say I have bought some uh, puppets war. I've actually got one here. Actually, that that on that little grot tank there is a puppets war uh, turret, which I've just seen. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Um, so I, I can vouch for the quality of the resin. It's it's good stuff. It's top notch. Um, and there's the, uh, the little packs, the accessory bits. Let's take a closer look at these. Uh, yeah, they're cool. They're, they're definitely far more suited to Imperial Guard or um, even Space Marines. Um, but no, uh, they're cool. I think these would look cool on Blood Axes. These would look very cool on Blood Axes. Um, yeah, I'm liking these. You've got your smoke grenades, your hand grenades, your little pouches of stuff and that. They're cool. Um... Yeah, there they are. There on, so you can see the scale of them. They are sort of designed for human scale thing. Although it might go cool on Grotz. I mean, he's really loaded up, isn't he? I mean, gee, he's got to leave some for everyone else, mate. Um, but yeah, some pretty. Yeah, this is a little example of the other range of stuff they do. They do some uh, some good stuff for all the factions. Uh, but yeah, these two turrets. I've got both of these. Um, this is the one we've just seen, the Orc Hatch Gun. Absolute bargain, £2.72. Cracking little gun for a um, Grot tank or a Grot gunner or just a turret on any of your tanks. Fits really nicely into um, 
it slots really nicely into the position for like um, any of the bits like um, on a Rhino or on a Chimera or on your Battle Wagon or whatever. Really lovely little turret. Um, it's got a sort of a Dalek vibe to it. It's the rounded dome shape. It's, uh, yeah, it's a cool look. I really like it. As soon as I saw that, and it's got lovely battle damage already put on it, that bullet holes and dents and scratches and stuff. So it's a lovely little turret. I really do like it. And the price is just it's superb. And I love how uh, the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. So you buy in bulk. Um, there's an example of it being used on one of their little wagons. Looks cool. Or on the, uh, the old battle bus there at the front. Very cool. Nice. I think Mr. Dredoir has got that battle bus, actually. I'm pretty sure he's got that one. It's cool. Cool miniature. Um, so, yeah, there's that one. And there's this one, the armed hatch. I also have this one. Also a very cool um, hatch. Um, turret with the big shooter on it. Very cool. Nice detail on the inside as well of the hatch. You can close the hatch down as well. It's quite poseable. You can have the gun sort of, you know, uh, let's have a look at the parts of it. Yep, so there you go. You can just have it closed up with the turret on there. There it goes. You can see it all slots together. And look, space for magnets telling you what size the magnets are. So if you want to magnetize and change weapon options, great that they think of things like that. Yeah, you can see it's like a ball and socket joint for the way the turret swivels and turns and that. So, yeah, it's a lovely piece. I really do like that piece. I've not used it yet. I've still got it. I haven't actually attached it. I think I'm planning to <clears throat> planning to use that turret on a battle wagon, I believe. Uh, but I haven't got round to doing that yet. <clears throat> but, yeah, awesome little turrets. Bit of pocket money for some cool looking turrets. Uh, we've got all rocket tips. Little accessories for your um, combi shooters, for tank busters. These would be great for. Um, I particularly like this one in the middle. That is um, <laughs> done like a smiley face with the bolts and the uh, scratch on there. Little smiley face so it looks like a little mortar um, rocket. But yeah, these are cool. Cool little tips to be able to, uh, you know, great for turning things into tank busters. If you're uh, kit bashing your own um, combi rockets for your knobs or your mega knobs or whatever, you want a bit more variety. Yeah, absolutely awesome. But yeah, this one here with the smiley face, definitely my favourite out of them. Uh, £4.53 for those. Uh, we got Orc Flame Gun Tips. Again, same thing. Um, great if you're kit bashing and converting your own burner boys. Um, probably more useful for um, combi scorchers. And uh, yeah, again, really nice. Each one's different. Nice detail. Got a bayonet on this one. And yeah, very orky. Lots of battle damage and stuff. They're just really cool. Nice detail bits. Absolutely lovely. Again, with magnets. So. Say like your mega knobs and that, or your your, your standard knobs. You want to have some with, uh, you want to switch them out, change the guns to combi scorcher or combi rockets between games. Really cool that they think of things like that and make it easy for us, so we don't have to drill in and cut out little you know, holes to put the magnets. Um, and here we go. This is great for it. We're getting into bits now that are great for anyone looking to loot things or convert their own vehicles. We've got some fantastic wheels here. We've got Orc Big Wheels. Look at these. Oh, we've got a very um, Rogue Trader style sort of uh, uh, plated wheels there. Think of the old, think of the old original, like, was it sec not Rogue Trader? It'd be second edition, wouldn't it? Uh, Battle Wagon. Brings back memories of that. Uh, but these two are a bit more truck inspired, or like the current Battle Wagon inspired. Uh, tires with armor plating on them or tires with uh, chains on them very brutal looking absolutely awesome yeah, you see the scale of them next to a, a regular human sized miniature nice and chunky very cool stuff um, six wheels 1177 quite pricey um, 
But I know I'd be willing to pay it. I'd be willing to pay that for them. I think they do look very cool. They look really cool, actually. Uh, the more I look at them, the more I want them. They're very cool. You, you never have enough wheels and things, do you? Um, we've got medium orc wheels here. Uh, what's the scale of them? There you go. A bit more. That's sort. Of, that's your sort of truck-sized wheel, isn't it? There, I'd say. Um, and these look very detailed. Again, chain wrap round them, and then you've got optional scythes as well to stick on and glue on as you see fit, or you could use them anywhere on your vehicles or, or whatever. So that's cool that you get them bits. And I like the way that they're optional as well. Um, that you, you know don't have to have them. The detail on the chain that is lovely. These look really nice. Uh, painted up with like your different army colours on the little armour plate and bits. They'd look really, really cool. Hmm. I'm already seeing like doing like some kind of trike or um, buggy with like the big wheels at the back, the, the medium ones at the front. Uh, and then we've got more uh, small wheels here. There you go, a bit more regular sized. Um, and a bit more traditional style sort of racing tires, car wheels that the hubcaps on them. And I love I love this that all the uh, bolts holding it on are all different colours. And th this one's got the hubcap on it. Plasters uh, patched up. You can see where it's had repairs, where it's had punctures and stuff. Yeah, very cool. Really, really nice wheels. I want to get all three of them sets. Just to have them in my bits box. Next time inspiration hits me and I want to build or kit bash something these just look great what we got here corpses always handy umi corpses in various stages of decay god they're detailed aren't they hideously so we've got blown off arms and legs and stuff that is quite cool look at that yeah it'd be good for your scenic bases and just to show the savagery of the orcs Good stuff, blimey. They are pretty hideous. There you go, some corpses there. Uh, £14.49 for them. Um, what do we got here? An Orc War Chopper. Pretty cool. I like the uh, Judge Dredd style uh, helmet and face on it. He looks like he's having a whale of a time. We've got the long, what do they call them? The crossbars? Crossbars? The... the I can't remember the bit on the bike, the 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 the, the bars, you know, the the bit, the prongs, um, proper chopper styley. Got some nice dacker on the front there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I guess this would be a would it be a regular boy sized um, bike or would it be a knob on a bike? Hard to say. Let's have a look at some more of the pictures here. Mm, sit with a bit more detail here. He looks to me to be like boy, boy sized. I like the uh, like the leather jacket on him. That's cool. Looks like he's wearing the denim. Like proper biker. J t double wheel at the back there. This is cool to actually see the uh, the actual resin, the miniature, rather than just a, a render as well. And there's the parts he cups in. So yeah, I'd say that's probably a boy scale one. Pretty cool. Um, I like the rider. I'm personally not so sure on the bike myself. It's this personal taste thing, isn't it? It's, it's, it looks a bit old school, um, which would be a big plus to a lot of people. Uh, it, is, it is cool. But it's not to my personal taste, that one. Uh, what have we got here? We've got some top knots. Always useful. You get a few like in the knob set, the top knots. Um, but these are a bit more variety. Um, the old hair squigs. There's uh, examples of them in use on different ones. Uh, it's a Thunder Warrior there, isn't it? That's cool. Um, but yeah, top knots always handy. It's cool, as you can see, not specifically for orcs, but uh, obviously orcs do like their hair squigs. Uh, heavy machine gun tips. This would be good for making your custom shooters and stuff. I do like some of these. Oh, that one's cool. I like that. And this one. 
Mm, I like that added detail. You usually get yeah, like you usually get ones like this, but I like this added detail of the bit on there, the sort of the brackets or holding the the rotary bit in. That's that's cool. Yeah, these are nice. These would be great for converting up some custom shooters and things, and some like big shooters and things. Something a little different. Again, they come with the magnet slots, so it's all preset, ready to accept magnets. Uh, the orc combat tips, we've already seen these. We'll make, take another quick look because these are cool. These would be perfect for your big mechs and stuff, wouldn't they? Or to go on, you know, to, to, uh, some of these would make good kill saws. Obviously this one and this one, even the drill. These would go great on your mechs or they could be uh, your power claws. I like that. I like the way that power claws like a proper proper old school looking vice, isn't it? The way it goes just up and down. Uh, it's not like that. It's like like that. That's, that's cool. Hmm. That's very mech, isn't it? Awesome stuff. Again, got the space for the magnets. They really like to make it easy for us, don't they? That's really cool little touches. Uh, we've got um, Orc Walker close combat arms here. I might have to scroll down and find the... So yeah, it's basically a big claw for a Death Dread. Nice, like it. That's the parts it comes in. Three parts. Cool. Eight pound fifteen for that. And then we've got the iron plier arm, which would probably look very cool on like a mecha dread, wouldn't it? Or like a. Again, it's got that vice-like claw. I do like that. I like that more than the other one. That's cool. That, that would stand out quite a lot, I think. Um, we've got turrets here. More little turrets. Look at this stuff. Orc heavy turret, turret core. Cool. Again, space for magnets. Add bits to the side. Can we see? Ah, here we are. We can see it in work. So it's this one here. Look. Oh, look at this stuff. You see what they've done here? So look, example of orc accessories applications. So you've got your legs and your bod, your sort of um, waist bit, the the top turret section, and then a, a mounted one, and they're all interchangeable. All the different weapon options. So look, that thing's got the magnets to be able to accept these big like flat cannons or something. Really cool. So to know that this stuff's all compatible with each other, that is very, very cool. Oh, I mean, look at these. Sorry. This isn't in the orc section, but let's have a look at it anyway, because that looks cool as hell. Rocket mortar on platform. Uh, grot tanks, anyone? That's a Cracking little grot tank. Like it. So, yeah, it's worth looking outside of the orc range on this. Definitely. Mm. So, orc heroic turret core there. Let's have a look at this fella. Very cool. Love the goggles. So, yeah, and he's piloting that turret. Again, with the magnets and you can see it in use there and then we've got the little orc little turret core <laughs> I like that that's nifty yeah so these are cool these turrets you could I mean you wouldn't have to use them in in the things that they've got you could just mount this on top of I love the way they set all the bits separately because you could mount this I mean that could be that could be a driver of something you could Start this to be like the cockpit of a, uh, a DACA jet. It could be the turret on your battle wagon. Um, yeah, or or many other things besides. There's so much you could do with something like that. And then we've got orc turret base. So uh, could be great for like mech guns, or if you're using different rules from other factions, it counts as stuff like tarantula turrets and stuff like the, the space marines have. I think it is. Um, but yeah, cool. Awesome. Uh, what else have we got here? And here's the different weapon options. We've got 
or Gatling cannons. I think I have these. I think I do have these. I was going to use one of these as like a, a shooter for my war boss, I think. Uh, I've still got the bit. I just haven't decided what to do with it yet. Very cool. Very cool, like DACA guns, eh? Um, we've got your laser cannons, your twin link LAS cannons, your orc missile launchers. Uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. Rocket pod type things. They'd go cool on like death dreads, killer cans and stuff. Very nice. Uh, so we've got orc uh, anti-tank cannons. Basic like big auto cannons. Brutal. Yeah, they might make good... Um, yeah, just good cannons for some of the, the things that can take cannons. Uh, or boom guns and things. Uh, Max, a.k.a. Chick Magnet. £27.16. He's a, he's a Death Dread, isn't he? He's a, he's a, this is a different version of a Death Dread. There you go, let's see. So the, you've got the turret bit that we saw earlier, but with the added jaw on there. The arms. So this thing can be a turret on your tank with the things or it can be part of a, a, a their version of a death dread um it's really clever the way all this stuff goes together like look the bits where the guns would usually mount there you mount in a big jaw plate to turn it into a the the, the chick magnet as they call it really cool looking stuff yeah that's awesome and there you go, there is without the arms net on. And again, you could magnetise this to, to change, swap out arms for rocket launchers, guns, whatever, you got the one on top. So it gives you loads of options. Good stuff. Why is that not clicking away when I'm pressing the X? There you go. At reasonably priced, I would say, for everything you get in there as well. Very cool stuff. Uh, Jax, aka Chick Magnet. So this is a slightly different one. Same price, um, but it's got the 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 other turret. So that was the larger turret without the and that looks really cool because now it looks like his eyes. Um, awesome. Very sort of squig inspired Death Dread there. I am liking that. That's cool, isn't it? Very different looking. So clever. Genius. This stuff's great. You'd be fun just to have all these bits, wouldn't it? And just play around with them. See what crazy contraptions you could come up with. Uh, there's the walker legs that are ready to house any of those earlier turrets. Cool looking legs. Excellent. It's just, yeah. Really, really cool stuff. Good price on the legs. Yeah, I I'm loving all that stuff. Uh, we've got uh, Orc Flyer Destructor Turret. Cool. That is again. So that is the same bit that was used on the uh, uh, Death Dread we just saw. But instead of putting it on the legs, they've mounted it on the uh, platform and then mounted the, mounted the uh, big flacker cannons on the side. It looks like a completely different kit. You, with, at the first glance, you wouldn't notice that that bit in the central core of it is the same kit. Really cool. I love the interchangeability between their different parts. That's a massive plus. Um, that's really good. I don't think I've seen other companies do that sort of stuff to that same degree. They've really put a lot of thought into this stuff. Who would think to use like the body of a Death Dread as like a turret and things? I know people have thought of it when they're doing conversions and stuff, but in your like in your um, on your 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 shop on your store where you sell it, it's, it's really cool, really really cool. Uh, we've got a self-propelled gun here, um, very cool, a mortar basically. Uh, oh look at that! How cool is that? 
I love the fact he's got the Yorks right on the side. I love these tracks. I love that. That is badass. Really, really cool. So this is basically a mech gun, isn't it? Um, there's a... Oh. Boom. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. These are mech guns. Really cool looking mech guns as well. Superb. Angle of inclination can be adjust with magnets. Ha! <laughs> That's clever. So the magnets, not only can you change the options, but it gives you mobility to adjust the turrets and adjust the trajectory of your shots. Genius. And it would be very satisfying to do, wouldn't it, just before you fire your mech gun, so you're sort of going, right, I'm just going to adjust the trajectory and aim that up. Really cool. Um, although when I look at this, I don't see a mech gun. I see, uh, there's the turret bit that goes on top, but when I see this, I don't see a mech gun. I look at this, I see a grot tank. That's just ready to house a turret. And uh, boom, you're away. That, that You've got an awesome looking grot tank. Yeah, I'm going to have to buy that bit. I'm going to have to buy that and turn that into a grot tank. With in very little effort. Literally just pop a turret on top and you are good to go. That looks badass. I love this bit at the front. Yeah, that's cool. I'm sold. I am sold. Very, very cool. And uh, da, 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 da. we've got the Green Baron, not the Red Baron, the Green Baron. Look at these, even got the spike topped helmet. Look at that. Awesome. Uh, so this would be a um, a def copter, wouldn't it? This would be used, you'd use the def copter. And look, he's got the smiley face rocket on there from what we saw earlier from the tips. Um, yeah, that's that's awesome looking. Cool. I'm getting like Wallace and Gromit vibes off this. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but it's very cool. Uh, £19.92. There you go. Cool Def Copter variant. Um, another one there. Look, De Orc. Orc. Orc De Plane. <laughs> tongue hanging out he looks like a dog hanging out the side of a car window doesn't he you see on the motorway good stuff that is awesome you've got little landing rudders as well it's cool okay what else have we got so we've seen that one already we've got the orc gruber wagon this is a cool little sort of Humvee looking thing. I like that. Really nice that is. I do like that. It's got the wheels we saw earlier. You see? It's got the turret we saw earlier. So this would be just uh, your regular buggy, wouldn't it? With big shooter by the look of it. Yeah. Really nice. Cracking little uh, buggy. Again, would look really cool in a Blood Axe army, I think. Looks like they've had a go at sort of, you know, trying to mimic the uh, the Umis and their sort of style of vehicles. Yeah, I like that. It's cute. It's cool. Little armoured car. Uh, da -da -da -da. We've seen that one already. Uh, oh, we've got f uh, football team heads. So, Orc uh, Blood Bowl heads there. They're nice. They're very... So these are different style heads. So I've noticed there's a, even within Puppets War itself, there's a lot of variety of Orc heads because these are very different to the ones we saw earlier. They've got tiny, tiny, dinky little teeth compared to the other ones we saw. A bit more traditional sort of teeth. They've got the, it's, yeah, they're different. Um, they're cool. These look a little, to me, these look a bit sort of cromlecky to me. Um, but yeah, very cool. Six heads and a free ball. For Blood Bowl, be cool to add a bit of variety to your orc teams for Blood Bowl. Um, I'd say this as well, actually. If you are into Blood Bowl, uh, Puppets War have quite a bit on the uh, uh, Blood Bowl side of things. Uh, the Rolling Slaughter to you and me, a death roller, and a pretty damn cool one. Look at that. 
Very cool looking. Loads of battle damage. This will take, you know, you dry brush this, it's going to look fantastic. Really nice, all the wiring around it and everything. Yeah, really cool. All the different gears, different sections. I, I like that. Yeah, that's going to look very, very cool. Again, magnets. They've thought of everything. It's got the slots in there. It tells you what size magnets, and they sell the magnets. Ah, oh, look, there you go. There's a, it applied to what their battle bus. Cool. Yep, that's cool. Uh, I've only got one more page to go. Which has the Orc War Boss and the Orc Buggy again. Um, let's take a look at this War Bus, war bus then. Uh, 25 quid. Pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap. Um, and you can see this bit is optional. They're enclosed. So this is a battle wagon. Yeah, this is a battle wagon, isn't it? Um, done in a bus style. So, if you, I think if you like your Mad Max stuff, some of the vehicles in here are very sort of Earth, you know, real world inspired sort of things. Um, and a battle bus, it, yeah, it's very cool. Um, this is so Mad Max, isn't it? So Mad Max. Really cool. That's good use of the... Uh, this is obviously the big wheels that you get on there. Um, there it is with the open topped, with the turret we saw earlier. Be fun to paint all those different panels and stuff. Hmm. It's got this bit in there where you can see where you can attach the uh, the death roller. Really nice. Just one big solid lumps of resin as well. Not many parts. Very cool. You get this, you get some of the turrets in there with it. That's a bargain price, man. That's cheap. That's cheaper than GW's battle wagon. And I'm sure a lot of people would argue that it's better. Um, what are these orc counters? One to ten. Why wasn't that in the orc section? Five orc counters. Models designed to represent numbers from 1 to 10 on rotating dials. During assembly, glue magnets to resin parts and all poles face the direction. Symbol, blah, 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 blah. So what is it? Is it wound counters then, I guess, is it? With a little actual miniature wound counter with a revolving wheel of parts. That's cool. So that could actually be part of the miniature with a little dial that you can turn to keep track of its wounds. Very clever. That is cool. Hmm. Yeah, or just uh, yeah, just have it on base, or just have it off the table to be able to track things, and that might be a good way to track your um, uh, CP, your command points. Good stuff with the magnets on there. Very clever. I guess you could have a couple of them. You know, once it goes over ten. Orcs don't count over 10 anyway, they run out of fingers, but... Hmm, clever little idea that. Quirky to incorporate the wound counters into the actual miniature itself. Um, and then we've got a different version of the buggy here. Looks the same as the one we saw earlier, but open top one. This is the Scorcher variant look. Very June buggy style. Uh, uh, it is different, it is different. I like that. That is that, again so mad maxi. Um, yeah, that's cute, isn't it? That is cool. It's like Herbie rides again with attitude this time. Again, so much detail, weathering, and battle damage on it that just taking a dry brush to this stuff, you know, it's going to pick out this these bits so well. It's going to look really rough and worn and rugged. And it shows all the different bits. I think all of which you can buy separately. Um, the wheels, I know you can buy them separately. The tips for the guns. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. So there you go. We've gone through all the um, specifically sci-fi orc bits. 
Um, what we got here? Model. Uh, da -da -da, no. Um, there's loads of steampunk bits. Let's have a quick gander at the steampunk bits. Um, Furies. I don't think they're going to be of much use. Um, steampunk machines. There are no products matching the selection. Okay, why have you got it on there? Waste my time like that. Um, but yeah, you can see there are just loads of stuff for um, all kinds of things. Look, let's have a look here. Look, so we've got these hand buzz saws. Uh, they're clearly for marines, I reckon. Um, but it could be scoped to use them on like mega knobs or something maybe. Got uh, tech assistant bodies, so that'll be for your Mechanicus, possibly your Necrons. Um, loads of different shields. Cyber insects heads. Look like Vespid, didn't they? For Tower, they probably are. Cool uh, techno Viking heads. Space wolves, I guess. They look badass. Um, again, not not a lot of this stuff's relevant to us, but you never know. It's always worth scrolling through all the stuff to see. Uh, let's just pick a page at random. Let's go to page 10 and see what we've got. Um, well, a lot of stuff we've already seen. Okay, let's pick another page. Page 7. Uh, mostly Imperial Guard alternative heads. Some really cool ones like Vampire heads. Norsemen heads, breaches helmets, crushes helmets, really good stuff. These Arctic ones, cool. Again, more turrets here. Cyborg heads, there's just so much good stuff here. So yeah, if you collect any other factions, um, some of this stuff will be well worth a look in. Um, really nice looking stuff. Great for Necromunda and things, I bet. And possibly loads of other stuff that would be cool for Orcs. Um, yeah, more wheels there. Tormentor's heads there. Cool. Oh, yeah. Loads of good stuff, like I say. But we won't go into it. We'll be here all day if we do that. I wanted to focus in on the Orc stuff. So... Um, yeah, there you go. I mean, I, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, uh, if you, I'm sure most of you watching this were already aware of Puppets War and the stuff they did. But um, for those of you that weren't aware, I just wanted to bring it to your attention and and show you that you know these guys exist out there and the stuff they do. Um, well, well, well worth checking them out. Go and check them out. Go and see what you think of their stuff. And uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, have you purchased from Puppets War? Do you like their stuff? Do you rate it? Would you recommend it to others? Uh, let us know in the comments. I'm sure viewers will be interested to see you know, other people's takes and opinions on this stuff. Um, I have bought a few bits from them and all the bits I've bought I've really liked and been impressed with the quality of the resin and uh, the, the, the customer service and everything. No, it's, it's, it's all good. Um, it's just uh, yeah, yet another awesome third party company that provides us with some great alternatives. And they're coming out with new stuff all the time. Um, unlike a lot of the companies we've mentioned previously on this series, they focus on all the factions though. Uh, so it's not always Orc related, but they, they do do a lot of stuff, um, a lot of stuff. And like I say, get on there and check out their, um, their uh, Blood Bowl stuff if you're into your Blood Bowl as well. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, um, that's it from me for now on this uh, range review. Uh, on the next one, what are we going to look at on the next one? I'm going to do something a little bit different. We're going to move away from third party and go back to GW. But uh, rather than looking at um, what we've already looked at, is the uh, 40k Orc line and the uh, Forge World Orc line, um, we're going to take a look at Age of Sigmar. Why? I hear you say, why? We don't do Age of Sigmar on this channel. We're all about 40k. We are. But there's a lot of compatibility between um, some of the AOS stuff and our stuff. 
and with the beast snagger stuff on the horizon and things like feral orcs and snake bites getting some love i think it's time we took a closer look at the age of sigmar range and uh, just take a look and see what we think we could do with some uh, kit bashes or counts as and conversions and stuff so it'll be interesting to take a look down there and see if any inspiration can hit us but uh yeah thank you very much for watching guys if you're not already subscribed please hit the subscribe button because um, there's loads more videos like this and other stuff uh, check out the back catalog um, I've got a patreon page which you'll see a link to in the description and at the end of this video if you want to help support the channel um, that would be great uh, but otherwise just hit that like button smash the bell comment share that stuff cheers guys six bus Steve-o signing out